Cause the roses made he good But it was a buddy never ran around When he thought of his mother came into his head You couldn't understand one word he said With your two right ya Wack for the da For the diddle for the day Well up comes Tim without any legs And in the place he had two wooden pegs well, was it walking across the sea? Boy, you still find legs on the knees away. Which are too right, yeah. Fall it down, fall it in, fall it down. Oh, were you drunk or were you blind? And you left your two fine legs behind. Oh, comb around, but you were the silly youth. Got to run away from the Frenchman shoot Which are too right, yeah. Fall it down, fall it in, fall it down. Oh. I was neither drunk nor neither blind when I left my two fine legs behind. When up came a bloody great cannonball, took away me sea boots, oil skins and all, which are too right, yeah. Fall it up, fall it diddle, fall it down. Oh, Timmy boy, his mother cried, them two fine legs, raise your mammy's pride. Them stumps of a tree wouldn't do it all You the right to run away from the big cannonball Which are too right, yeah Fall it down, fall it in, fall it down And now I cross the raging main To Napoleon Bonaparte and the Queen of Spain And I will make them rue the time That they took away the legs of a child of mine Which are too right, yeah Fall it down Fall the diddle, fall the die, no, with me too, right, yeah. Whack, fall the die, fall the diddle, fall the die, no. Not very long ago, there were hundreds of little separate communication worlds. I call them little bubbles of song and delight and ways of life and cookery and everything that existed everywhere. Literally hundreds of thousands of these little generators of the original. And suddenly, all those delicate structures are being smashed and and scattered and suppressed by an over-powerful, over-rich, over-reaching communication system. And uh, that's true in our country, it's true in Europe, it's, and it's true, of course, even more tragically in the rest of the world. And uh, I think the most important thing that anybody can do is to try to restore the balance. I call this cultural equity. The slogan is everybody with a, every culture with its equal time on the air and in the classroom. Cultural equity should join all the other important principles of human uh, dignity, freedom of speech, freedom of movement, freedom to work and live and enjoy yourself, and freedom for your culture to express itself.
So as a music fan, the Alan Lomax collection, I've had a lot of recourse to that and through the years. And it was through that, that that I discovered the music of Bess Cronin. And Alan Lomax came here in the mid-50s. Um, Seamus Ennis was his guide, here being the Muscari Gaeltacht, and specifically Dali Makira, who record Bess Cronin. She was known as the Muscari Queen of Song. And in a place where songs have a currency and where singing is a huge part of the tradition, to be the Queen of Song was something to be. No one knows what lies ahead Don't try too hard to see Close your eyes and go with it And try to let it be And you'll find what you've been looking for you've been looking for it won't hide it won't hide anymore you will find what you've been looking for Look at this with the tea. Isn't she? Amazing. Because it's tea addict. 
it's so nice to be here, Eilish and Josie, and um, even though it took us a while to find it. But um, <laughs> we were joking about on the way about the journey that, that Seamus Ennis, his journey here, which was obviously without Google Maps. So it's um, so it's 47, right, that he came here, was it? 47? When he started, yes, his first visit. That was the first person to record this. Yes, she yeah. was, was the first to call. And then you had Alan Lomax yeah. and uh, Diane Hamilton. Diane she did, Hamilton. Uh, yeah, Diane did some. And there was very little happening at the time. Quiet village. And the fact that there was somebody coming to record her, that overwhelmed her anyway, yeah. that she was thought to be good enough. So the excitement was, was unreal. You wouldn't half see the two making for the front door as the van and the car went up the yard. In they came, Seamus, Jim Mahan and Johnny. All the hurry started then. The stranger stayed with me. He drives the van and he manages the recording. Bogbrain, 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 the Montana. Bogbrain, the splash fain. Bogbrain, the Montana. They didn't have much more for as an outlet, mm -hmm. except a scurry of thing, which was visiting each other's houses, sharing songs and stories. That was their social mm -hmm. fabric. I mean, you were only six when Bess passed away, but you do have memories of her being around. Yes, yeah. always singing and whistling. And that time they used to say it was bad luck to whistle, but mm -hmm. you know, it didn't do her any harm. Mm -hmm. She'd be whistling tunes and songs and... Yeah. It's like she'd be remembering words or going through them and she'd be going through the ears of them. Mm. She was very important, but sometimes I was asked before, and why was there so much talk about Bess? Or were there no other singers in the Warna? There were loads of them. Mm -hmm. But it was a thing she did, a bit like I'm doing myself. I don't mind putting myself out there because I love the singing. And if people know you're singing and willing to sing a song for an occasion, yeah. it kind of builds up and you're asked to do stuff. Yeah. And that time, while they had no big outlet, you know, for socializing that, it would be house parties, weddings, a lot of the weddings would be in their houses or the local hall and that she was willing to sing mm -hmm. with any few local musicians, mm -hmm. which was her own family, mm -hmm. actually lots of them. Um, she was very much like the plantation we've been there, uh, very much uh, a woman of her own place, and and yet she had a, a mind that was obviously interested. It went to, farther, kind yeah, of. Yeah. yeah, was it her that said, "Oh, yeah, I sang all over." Well, but uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> see, the Facebooks and the social media mm -hmm. has, for us, been a huge eye opener as well, mm -hmm. because now we know about places that we have never been. Mm -hmm are visualised mm -hmm. and if it's only to hear about their troubles and strifes and wars but her idea of all over and everywhere would be go to Lisby to her sister, <laughs> going to McCroom to her son mm -hmm. I'd say she didn't go any further than that yeah. <laughs>
I happen to see the rocks of God up here at the thing one day. And the young guy, he said, I'm learning that. I love that. <laughs> and by God, the next year when we went up to to drum a shambo. Yeah. He was the one singing it. He loved it. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Do you know what he's Oh, I do, yeah, 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 yeah. Come here. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is hilarious. I hope all that is coming out. <laughs> what would you do if you married a soldier? What would I do but to follow his gun? And what would you do if the cows at the clover? What would you do but to set it again? <laughs> The bridges are boiling, the herrings are roasting. Molly sit over close to the wall. The bridges are boiling, the herrings are roasting. Molly sit over close to the wall. The idle, 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 What's still really strong is the fact that you know, the, the master passes it on to the students, right? So that that ethos is very much alive in it is. traditional music. Because that seems like that's really how it works and how it works best and it's still working that way. It is, because at the end of the day, you can go to class, you can record your tune or whatever. But what really brings on, on all students is to go to sessions. Are the sessions? Yeah, yeah. And then they and they are, they are picking it up. Yeah, yes, yeah. you're picking it up from the people that are good at it and that are passing it on. And at the end of the day, that's the best mm-hmm. method, really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is can ing a bionering And just when you're talking to kids about singing, right? Um, it's singing that you teach them. Channels. Channels. That exchange of knowledge to people who are just beginning their journey in music it must be a very satisfying thing. Well, it is. You 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 have to go through the words and things for them first to understand the song, yeah. because it's very hard to learn. A big song, as we call it, mm-hmm. a Chano song, without knowing what you're yeah, singing about, it. Yeah. it helps to it helps to sing it by telling the story and understanding what's going on. The mowing is the nothing on Kasha Sneeing Lelung Naba. Chano's is a funny thing that it's. Um, it's only sung in, in certain circles, in a way, mm-hmm. the, for the people that are interested in it. Yeah. You don't just go out singing Chano song willy-nilly kind yeah. of a thing. I know. You, you, it's, it's the company you're yeah. in. And, and what happens there, that, that exchange, that that's community, right, isn't it? That, that kind well, of it understanding is. of it and it receipt of the song. Right. The way people hold each other's hands and, and you do oh, that kind of thing. Is that a oh, you've been to Katamara. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't hold hands in court. <laughs> no. no, they'd be yeah, wondering what you're at. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right, yeah. Well, there you go. I don't know. No, no, anything. it's just different cultures. Oh, it's different cultures, yeah. Oh, um, who are the... Kegar vor is ma little near Higgad Gurev Evan Bra Good East Wishan Gruiga Bra Finger Er good the good on Gaungalba.
I was a total American provincial. I thought everything began and ended between here and San Francisco. And then I went to Ireland and I heard the Irish bagpipes and I heard those Irish girls who can, I don't know, they sing like the foam on the sea. It's those light voices, you know, that just, they're like uh, the smell of flowers in the evening, the way they sing. And I became an international. I swore I was an international citizen. I was going to always be a world citizen. I renounced my provinciality and turned myself to the job of trying to get the whole world listened to. I'm sorry, I'm going no, too long. No, no, no. <coughs> Where, how are we doing? About how much time left? Singing is a fun thing, really, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. except for competition. I abhor competitions, but they're necessary to bring along the child, but not necessarily in singing. Music may be more so than singing. Mm -hmm. I have classes and I have people that don't want to do competition. Mm -hmm. So it isn't a teacher-pupil thing at all. I always yeah. emphasize yeah. that. Yeah. It's something to be enjoyed, yeah. that they'd enjoy. It's not a lesson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much work do you put in with each of those individual groups throughout the year, or how does it work? Well, with the students, it's, it's an official kind of a 20-week course. That's the money that was allowed at the time, so we're inclined to do kind of 10 weeks before Christmas and 10 weeks after Christmas. Yeah. And have it finished before Patrick's Day, because yeah. they get very carhonic then, going through to the Easter and yeah. summer, and they get yeah. restless.
Shallow Shallow Brown While Pump the Silver Fountains Shallow Here is the road to Kerry, and that's the road to God knows where. And this here is the uh, top of Coombe. So, this is kind of the epicenter of the closing part of Eggshire Dermid, and that means that it's a singing house and it's got to be singing all night. There's a kind of a river of song that flows through this place. Uh, I guess. In this part of the world, songs have a kind of a currency and, and, and people listen in, in a way, there's, there's an investment in the song. And, uh, and I think uh, with all the technological changes and so on, that still holds in this part of the world. I sing of John the Larry, oh, we know and go so well. I see you in Dan Connell's, then a small thing at your side. The box and fiddle blending, heart and rhythm, style and pride. And the cheering and the weeping, as the dancers take the floor. And the spirit of Shirogra fills our hearts to overthrow. The river of song is, is flowing strong in this part of the world. And the variety, both in English and Irish, young and old, every age. And does, does everybody have a song or how does it work here? I have met nice singers and say, no, I have no song. I said, you have a lovely voice, why don't you go to the trouble of learning a song? Something yeah. you like. Mm -hmm. There's YouTube, there's anything if you didn't want to go to any group yeah. thing. 
But I'm also doing an adult class here in Bilanguerig on a Tuesday night. So I have adults coming to me. The, and that's brilliant because they're coming because they want to. <laughs> in tradition proudly hold For scorn years the good luck in you And you play it right to the end God be with you, Johnny Larry I'm so proud you call me friend It's a special kind of harmony that happens in that that moment. I think a f friendship forms kind of a closeness, and people respect each other's songs mm -hmm. and their, you know, their their, their choice mm -hmm. whether it's. It doesn't have to be traditional either. There were other songs, yeah. rebel songs sang, yeah. and because they like that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no one such thing for everybody. Like, oh, this is the right thing, the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. It's whatever dra draws you. If it's it's an injustice, if it's love, you, you're going to sing about it, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. Sixteen-year-old poet, yeah, you know I know it all. Document my rise and my fall and pretty paragraphs for public consumption. Make no assumption, we under no illusion. My mind's no smooth, sixteen stands a sonnet. It's rife and riddled with contusions, confusing the dance for ups and drinking cheap spirits from chipped cups. I'm like a jigsaw puzzle with pieces missing, annoying, frustrating, infuriating, creating nothing but a sense of dissatisfaction. Full of pretty words but lacking any action. I'm so sick of the rhyme and scheme inside it seems I process shit uniquely. Think of things too deeply and when I speak I do so sweetly. That's my poet voice. I fill my lungs and strain my tongue to push till the buzz that fit the bill of a spoken word artist. Cause the hardest part is to make every sentence sound important and pressing. Stop your messing and listen up. As if you give a fuck. I said I'm so sick of the rhyme and scheme this time I mean what I say. Just like I meant it yesterday and the other day and when I get paid and my point's been made and my value's been decided and I did what I was asked to do, perform for you, dangle my deepest dreams, dreads and desires on a shoe. String, ring, 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 that's my morality calling but my sanity's stalling so I let it go to voicemail, my voice fails, my words trail as I tap, tap, tap another email as capitalism prevails over pride and integrity, over rhymes and the nitty gritty itty bitty bits of me that scream where's the art and that? Tell me, where's the art in that?
Marshin, Bierche, Marshin. Shadow Callan, Peberus, Bierche, Marshin, Bierche, Marshin. 
ga 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 ring wie gammes min chuk feinge min chuk feinge brischen schied an trine am ma durte walle durte walle min ort gamma growing hier dag schiesem hatte schiesem hatte like in my heart the tree day air for a while for a while up oh oh that was so low oh, i thought it was in the actual thing i thought it was in the shot and i thought it was going to no, no, it's gone I, down. It's I gone couldn't down. get my breath there for some of it, but I let you <coughs> yeah, start that. that. So that was all right. Oh, that was beautiful. It was very cultural because I, I could only get some parts. Dad could foresee where to have throw a switch. Yeah. And then have light. Yeah. We were amazed. Yeah. We were amazed at the time I was. It was a fierce. Oh, it was a huge thing. How old were you when you when you saw the light? Oh, I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do they say? Need I say any more? <laughs> While I have a young sister there. <laughs>